How's it going, everyone? Lyndon SG here, and got a uh, an unboxing to do of a fairly new product. Just started a few months back, and the first one has arrived today from All Elite Wrestling. We present the All Elite Crate. If you're familiar with things such as loot box or airdrop, they now have all elite wrestling now has their own uh, box service. Thirty-four ninety-five a month. They send every three months, so they won't pile up nearly as fast as uh, loot crate and them would send every month. And they, the estimated value inside is supposed to be a fair bit more than what you pay for now they do have a yearly option as well which will net you a little bit of a discount per crate anyway let's open this thing up and let's see what all we get set it aside on the table over here got two t-shirts Excellent. Can always use some more t shirts. All right. We have. Oh, yeah, something else to mention. The items that come in these crates are supposed to be different than what's available in the actual AEW shop. So, kind of exclusive stuff. Anyway. First up, we have the Inner Circle Skulls t-shirt with the Skulls drawings of Chris Jericho, Santana, Ortiz, Jake Hager, and Sammy Guevara. They're the five members, and... That... Yeah, may have to put that one on when I'm doing a uh, live commentary for uh, Full Gear, which comes up in November. And yes, I will be doing a live play-by-play -play commentary. Not showing the actual pay-per-view, but still. Now, second t-shirt. They're nice design. Uh, for Kenny Omega, who is the current AEW uh, champion. And what, that could change at full gear as uh, main event is going to be him versus former friend Hangman Adam Page for that belt. And speaking of Hangman, we have uh, an item... For him here, the Hangman Hold My Beer bottle opener. I probably won't see much use for it myself because, well, any drinks I am normally getting have a twist top for one thing. But still, could come in handy. But, and yeah, got the All Elite logo on the... All Elite Wrestling logo on the back. Oh, pardon me. So it is authentic. Throw that there. And I've been mentioning Full Gear a couple of times. A little card to advertise the uh, pay-per-view coming up in just three and a half weeks. Good lord. That's going to come up quick. All right. Now, you've uh, probably heard of the uh, micro brawlers, little mini figures of, uh, wrestler, of wrestlers. We have the icon Sting, complete with baseball bat. And 
little bit of stats on the back there with his height, weight, where he's from, and when he first made his wrestling debut. November 1st, 1985. And that was down at the WCCW in Texas, if I recall right. Where he teamed up with uh, the then Dingo Warrior, you may re who you probably know better as the Ultimate Warrior. Rest in peace. And yeah, history was made. And we have a little All Elite Great sticker. Figure out some place for that. We'll probably be putting those in every crate. Hmm. One of the other factions going in uh, AEW is the Dark Order. And here we have the Dark Order cloth patch. So easily get that sewn on or ironed on to whatever clothing you want. I think I have an idea where to put that. Actually, I would actually I could put that on hat. That would be nice. Now we have here a Dr. Brick Baker DMD. You have to do the finger thing. It's in the rules. A hardcore legend pin. She's gotten herself bloodied a couple of times. And that's when she gets at her nastiest. Just saying. <laughs> now, one of the uh, bigger draws they've had on AEW is Darby Allen, who's currently kind of being mentored by Sting. He's a skateboarder. And we have here a Darby Allen finger skateboard. Complete with replacement wheels. Even has a little mini screwdriver on there. I like that. Now, we've been talking full gear. There, the first full gear pay-per-view was back on November 9th, 2019. Their first pay-per-view. Or, no, actually, well, second. Anyway. The main event at that time was Kenny Omega versus John Moxley in a lights out unsanctioned match and they went all out on that. And we have a classic style poster. Kind of like the looking like the old-fashioned uh, wrestling posters. And... One last item here. A, an official 8x10 autograph. And... Make sure I got it right set up. This autograph, this picture is former women's champion Hikaru Shida. And she is fun to watch in the ring as well. Not to mention easy on the eyes. And that is everything that was in the crate. So all told, between the t-shirt, the picture, the other items that came in you're I'm thinking probably looking at fifty dollars worth of stuff so good deal if you're if you're a fan of all elite wrestling and especially if you just like the wrestling items in particular I'm gonna be keeping the subscription going for a while I'm already paid in for the next crate which comes out in January We'll be doing an unboxing of that when the time comes as well. 
So that is it for now. Till next time the coffee shop is closed. Be sure to hit the uh, subscribe button, like the videos, make comments, share things out. Let's grow this place, will we? Shall we? All right, till next time the coffee shop's closed and you know the old motto, death before decaf. Have a great time, guys.